another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing. Uh, we are back with another episode. Of... Sorry about that. We are back with another episode of Quick Hits. Uh, we got a good topic for you today. Uh, we're going to get into Regis Progre. I sent out a tweet the other day saying that he's a promotional free agent, um, which they acknowledge that he is, and that everyone, I've said everyone should be fighting over him. He's a star. He has the ability to make life difficult for him. But before we get into that, um, Please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, two episodes a day, eight to ten minutes a day, just to keep you up to date on all the latest boxing news and rumors. Um, there's a link in the description for uh, TACA, the Autism Community in Action. Um, pl please uh, share that link. Uh, it's a charity. It's th autism. It's National Autism Awareness Month. That's a, that's a charity. Uh, organization that's very near and dear to the hearts of 3d boxing um so please like uh please share that if you can please donate to it uh let's get into today's show regis progre um scored the knockout victory was changed to a, a knockout victory over ivan redcash who quit embarrassingly on the uh in, 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 trilla card um that dopey thing but um progre is promotional for agent now um, he is a pound for pound town. He's a former world champion. He's got a, an impressive resume. He's got wins over uh, Juan Velasco, Julio, uh, Julius Ndongo, uh, Terry Flanagan, Kirill Relic, Josh Taylor. He's got uh, Joel Diaz Jr., Aaron Herrera, Abel Ramos. He's got a plethora of good wins. He's a high level guy. He's yeah, pound for pound talent, like I said. I, I don't understand why he's not a bigger star, why he's not. People like him. He's a personality. He's a master boxer with good power. He's pretty much everything you'd want in a fighter. And he fights in the right weight class, 140, 147. I, I think he's a steal for match room. I think he's a steal for PBC. I think he's a steal for top rank. I think they, there should be a bidding war over this guy. He's a cash cow. <clears throat> um... You know, like I said, he's got he's got a personality. He's, he's got a big personality. He's a lot of fun. Uh, he's a great interview. Um, he's a personal dude, and his boxing skills and power are phenomenal. He's got all next level talent, next level skills, and he's a proven commodity. Now, I think he's thirty two years old. Is that right? Um, you know, it's time to start moving on this guy. If he's thirty two. It's it, it's time to get moving on him. Um, I, look, if it's 40 or 47, if, if, you know, we can't get a rematch with Taylor, which everyone wants to see, you know, um, JC Ramirez would be a great fight. Mario Barros would be a great fight. There, there's so many can't miss fights with this guy in that weight class. Uh, and then if he goes up to 47, it, it's, you know, if he stays at 40, it makes sense for match him or top rank to make a run at him. You know, you could match him with Taylor, Progre. You could match Progre with Taylor, Ramirez, you know, uh, Pedraza, Zapata. Uh, Arnold Babosa looks like he's on the move. You know, and then on the PBC side, you'd have Barrios. This, this, on, on the um, matchroom side, there's Ergashev. There are so many good names for him to fight. There's so many interesting fights you can make with him at 40. And if he goes to 47, obviously... Golden Boy should make a run out of him. A fight with him and Virgil Ortiz would be great. Uh, but the fight I really want to see, honestly, if he stays at 140, assuming that Mario Barrios wins, is him and Barrios. You guys a great contrast of style. You got the big, long Barrios. You got the slick, hard-hitting um, program. I think program versus Barrios is a, is a classic fight. It's, it's, it's a great contrast in styles. Um, and it's it's... Two fighters at different parts of their career. I, I really like that fight, and I think PBC should make a run at him. 
Um, and then if he wins that fight, he goes to 147 and then goes directly into the discussion with those great fighters at 147. Darryl Spence, Keith Thurman, Manny Pacquiao, Mike Garcia. Uh, and, and that's another fight I'd like to see. I think him and Mikey Garcia makes a lot of sense. There's so many good fights for him. Um, and and I, I, I don't understand why he's kind of like, he had he, he was with Ludabella and, and they amicably split. Um, Ludabella acknowledges that he couldn't get him the fights. No one would call him. Uh, it's probably because they can't beat Progre. Like, Progre lost one fight. He lost a very, very close fight, a, a fight of the year type fight to Josh Taylor, which I thought he won. Uh, it wasn't a robbery. It wasn't an outrage. On my card, Progre won the fight. Um, and, and Taylor was the best guy at 140, and I thought Progre beat him. So it tells you how good I think Progre is. I had Progre on my pound list before the fight. Um, I, I, I think. Before the end of the year, I would love to see Program Barrios. Uh, I think that, or if Tank Davis wins, do that fight. If Tank Davis wins, do Davis and and Program. But I, I think Barrios will win that fight. Um, and then you know Program can go up to forty seven if he wants, and all the big money fights are there. And he is competitive in all of those fights. You know, I, to me personally, I think PBC makes the most sense because they got names at 40 and 47 from They got interesting fights for them. I think Golden Boy makes a lot of sense. They could do a two-fight deal. They could give them Hooker first, which they have a, a, a long reigning beef, and then he could go fight Virgil Ortiz. Top rank makes sense because they could get a Crawford fight. He could get a Taylor fight. I mean, uh, Matt Drew makes sense because they pay everyone a ton of money, even if they don't have a, a, a ton of talent in that division. They'll, they'll, they'll work across networks to, to, to make the fight happen like it, it all makes sense for him and, and i'm not sure why there's not a bidding war over him if i if, if i was a boxing partner and i wanted to sign someone he'd be on the top of my list of, of guys to go chase um we'll see how it works out for him though um i, I hope the next couple of years while he's still in his prime he gets lots of good fights i hope he gets big money fights and, and i hope he gets a chance to chase greatness because I, I think he's great uh, let me know what you guys think on Progre. Are, uh, are you as high on him as I am? Um, do you think he's got all world talent and all world ability, and he just needs he just needs the right fights to, to show that? Because um, I think he's trouble for anyone at forty or forty seven. Uh, please like and subscribe, uh, share on all forms of social media. Leave your comments below. Um, again, I'm going to put a link to the autism community in action uh, in the description. Please share that link. Uh, if you can, donate to it, but at least share it. That's free. Uh, also, there's a, a new YouTube page, out, uh, Texas Boxing Scene. Please like and, and, and please subscribe to that channel, too. All of the uh, money I make on that will go to TACA and uh, Autism Autism Recovery and Autism Research. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share 3D Boxing on all forms of social media. Quick hits will be back tomorrow with two episodes a day. Uh, we, come back, we come at you with two episodes every day. Uh, it is April 22nd. Um, it's April 22nd now. 2021, Ivan Calderon is still in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.